In debate, I call first uh, Mr. Mullen, Ireland, EPP, CD, on behalf of group. Uh, thank you very much, Madam President. And um, I would like to say, first of all, that I report, I welcome very much this report into the challenges uh, posed by issue of migrants and, and, and refugees uh, to the Council of Europe. And I would also like to say that I do think that the uh, recommendations made by the Committee on Culture and Science and Education ought to have been accepted. Uh, I think they're very good uh, amendments. I wish to focus just on some of the core topics identified in the limited amount of time. I think the main recommendation made here, uh, the setting up of a, or one of the main recommendations, the setting up of a transversal Council of Europe a project on migrants, asylum seekers and displaced persons, as well as the establishment of a new intergovernmental committee with a permanent mandate to examine these issues. This will only have an impact if closer collaboration between the Council of Europe and the EU occurs. Such collaboration should allow for greater sharing of expertise and resources and bring greater urgency, making the implementation of solutions more likely. Just as importantly, it would help to refocus EU policy on these issues more towards fundamental rights than to protection of the common international, internal market. Secondly, I believe that better cooperation is needed between individual member states uh, because these issues are necessarily trans-European in many cases, although involving countries outside of Europe as well. So we need to involve countries of origin, transit and destination. And this is especially true in matters pertaining to human trafficking, which involves criminal networks across many member states. And although not explicitly mentioned in this report, it would be wonderful, a wonderful development in human rights protection if member states could act with procedural and humanitarian unity in welcoming genuine asylum seekers who are fleeing from human rights abuses in their countries of origin. Harmonization of approaches would provide greater clarity to asylum seekers and could potentially lead to more even and efficient responses by member states in accommodating uh, asylum seekers. We need to look at the impact of uh, where, law, where countries are bordering on each other as well. I've done some work in the area of human trafficking, and I'm very much an advocate, speaking personally now on behalf of my group, uh, for the need to criminalise uh, the user of persons in prostitution. We have seen in Scandinavian countries how this has helped make countries such as Sweden much more colder houses uh, for uh, traffickers. And I think uh, my own country, Ireland, needs to bite the bullet in this area and really tighten up its laws uh, so as to target the user of the person in prostitution and at least to bring our laws uh, closer to those now uh, to apply in the UK so as to prevent uh, the possibility that Ireland would be seen as a, a softer option for people uh, wishing to avail of uh, persons in prostitution, many of them uh, migrants in extremely disadvantaged uh, situations. Um, I think we should warn against the overemphasis uh, by governments on occasions on the need to monitor effectively issues social, such as social welfare fraud. That's a very valid concern, but it mustn't happen to the neglect of proper consideration of how governments can also fail to safeguard the rights of immigrants who are within their jurisdictions. We must simultaneously spell out the rights and responsibilities of immigrant people, and we must provide objective, just and efficient administrative <laughs> frameworks for dealing uh, with their concerns. Gurumila Mahagas. 